about your bill that would have um, allowed for the limited sale of the pharmacies. Tell me the purpose of the bill. Well, the purpose of the bill is to make it easier for people to have food deals. Uh, we are one of only two states that do not uh, allow this in some way, shape, or form. We are also a state with a very, very high incidence of AIDS and other diseases that are caused by the use of derby needles. We have found pilot programs that are operating throughout the state seem to be very successful. So this is the ne next step uh, to make it easier and more appropriate for people. So not confused, it's not a needle exchange program, right? This no. is for sale at pharmacies. Right, this is up to 10 needles for sale without a prescription. Must be over 18 pharmacists to keep track of this. Um, the uh, pilot programs I talked about are needle exchange programs. Where, and we really like to get more of those and then get people in person and some of the that I read. There are more than a uh, thousand people they got into the through that needle exchange program. That's remarkable. And uh, it's good for the people themselves and it's good for the health of the state. And the opponents might know when we heard them, they, they certainly echo the same thing as during the needle exchange. Um, we're, we're supplying the drug addicts with the tools they need to continue their habit. What is your response there? Well, the drug addicts uh, are have the tools they need, or they wouldn't be drug addicts. So by pretending we're not uh, going to uh, try to cut down the, the spread of AIDS by allowing them to have clean needles, it's like saying, well, it doesn't exist. It does exist, and um, if in fact those same people would support the expansion of the real estate program, I'd certainly be the first to go. Then you have a chance to get people healthier.